Hi guys, it's Brandy. I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching this and also thank you uh, for the ones who have subscribed to my channel. If you haven't done so, please hit subscribe. Um, tonight I'm actually going to be doing some alphabet letters. Uh, these letters are made out of wood and I purchased them at Michael. I mean actually this one, these I purchased at AC Moore. There's a little hole in the back so you can hang them nicely. And they are $5 at uh, AC Moore. And I like to add dots to them. You can see, or I like to do dot art to them. But you can see that they're kind of shiny. Once they dry, I add two coats of gloss varnish to protect them. So they're pretty sturdy. But these make nice decorations hanging on um, kids' bedroom doors. They're, uh, they're actually really nice gifts, actually nice wedding gifts too. Tonight I'm doing a letter for a friend and she's requested the letter M. So I'm going to do that in the letter M and she re has requested the color pink. So for selecting paint, I usually just like to work with lots of different shades of whatever color I'm working with. So I'm going to do pink. I have five different shades of pink, and then I also have a white. I'm gonna use the white. Uh, for this one, I practice sketching an idea for design on black construction paper. So this is what I'm gonna do are these um, mandalas, and pink mandalas, and I'm gonna fill in between the mandalas, I'm just gonna fill it with white dots and a few black dots on top of that. So just showing you my practice. Um, for the paint, I know a lot of people like to put pour the paint in the tops of their containers, but I have a hard time closing them because uh, it, it dries. So I started um, saving the tops of my Gatorade containers and just use them, use them that way and uh, pour the paint in there. What's really nice is when you do that, um, let's see, if you let it sit overnight, well, this one's not gonna come out very well. Yes, it is, okay. When you let it sit overnight for cleanup, you can just peel it right out, the paint color right out. So um, you can actually save these if you want to. Uh, and I just reuse them. But. They're pretty inexpensive, so since you've already purchased Gatorade or whatever, whatever you soda or whatever you use, um, I just save the containers. I don't, I don't, I find that I don't throw a lot of things away. For tools, I'm going to be using the Martha Stewart dotting tool. Uh, this is the Michaels dotting tool, and then I'm also going to be using. Uh, different size crochet hooks. For this, uh, to get started, I just sketched out sketch out a design uh, where I want to put the mandala. So I just put. I'm using like anything. You, I mean, you can use a compass if you want to uh, to draw a design. You know, to do your circles, but. For this one, I for when I do these letters, I just use anything that's round. And these are the tops of lids of my mason jars for my canning. And just put them down, <clears throat> hold it in place, and just sketch all the way around. And there's one. And then two. Oops, let's see if you can see that one. Another one. And then we'll do another one here. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see I have an idea where I'm gonna put those. I also, um, because 
when I use this chalk pencil, it gives off like fine particles of chalk. I do wipe it off gently so I uh, all the extra particles are wiped off. So it, when I paint on it, it doesn't leave clumps. But I did it so I can still see my um, outlines. Okay. So for this, I am just going to paint. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing, hopefully. Make sure I'm doing it in the center, but make sure you hold your tools perpendicular. Um, I'm actually going to do one side at the same time, I, th I think. Yeah. Don't want to do the whole thing at the same at at the same time all of them because I have a tendency to put my arms in it. So working on one half might be better for for me. It actually does. I can do the middle one, but and then it's just to give you a guideline. All right, then I'm just a small dotting tool and you'll see that I do rotate my tips quite a bit so uh, let's do that was the I did like a the medium color pink I'm gonna do a light really really fine pink and go all the way around Since I have a design already picked out, I don't mind multitasking and getting a few of them done at the same time. It makes it go quicker. So you'll see I'm going to go actually pretty fast. Just be cautious of not putting your hand in the paint that you've already put down. Okay, so I did evenly spaced a light, a really light color pink. I'm gonna do one shade darker, and go. I'm gonna go in between all of the white, and I'm just going by the design I already came up with. Uh, you can pretty much do as long as you can do any type of pattern. Um, I just don't want to change what I already did just because uh, it'll make it go faster. Trying to sit and come up with a design while I'm doing it will make this video take a lot longer. So having a guideline for me to go by will make this much faster. But it gives you guys an idea of how I do these. All right, uh, that was a small tip. Now I'm gonna change it to a, just one size bigger, and I'm gonna use the same color pink. So I'll do it between the two, just kind of like that. All right, so I did the pink. Let me see if I can raise it up so you guys can see it. All right, next, 
I'm going to do in between the pinks, I'm going to do that lighter color I had done earlier, which is that light, light color pink. And the outline that I did with the circles is just to give me a guideline. It might not, I might not stay in that circle, but it's just to kind of give me a guideline on where the center is and where I wanted the design on my uh, on this letter. But when I do these letters, I do I do do different designs cuz I get bored. So, I don't always do the same design, but for this one I wanted um I wanted it to be special for a friend, so I really wanted a lot of detail in it. see it slowly coming together and let's do a larger white or a larger dot right over actually I'll do this one Just when you have a variety of tools, it makes it nice to make different sizes. And I just like to s swap to the different uh, tool, it makes it easier. But um, I mean, you can use one tool and just put different amounts of paint down if you want to. gonna do um, two little pink dots in between the white ones just to give it a little bit of a different design and I do find having my my palm resting on the uh, canvas whatever you're using I'm using the letters tonight um, it gives your hand more control I find if you have your hand hovering over your canvas you don't have as much control and um, I make a lot of mistakes when my hands up in the air that's why for doing all of my dot paintings I have to have a flat surface I can't use an easel I've tried and I just does not work for me. I need a flat surface. So having a big, a large space, uh, a table works well for me. Yeah, and you see I do go back and forth reloading the tip. It, so it is time consuming. Um, but I do find this process to be very therapeutic. I don't, I don't mind how long they take to do. And I usually, when it's a really large painting, I usually break it up over days. You guys can see how it's slowly coming together. Okay, so for this next thing, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to use the bottom of a 
this is the pack of uh, crochet hooks and I'm going to use the bottom of the crochet hook. You see it's nice and flat. And I am going to go to a dark color pink. I just want something different now. I'm going to center this over the two pink dots is what I'm doing. So I will do this on all three of them. water on that so I definitely need to wipe that off and try that one again if you uh, wipe it off always have paint brushes handy so you can just wipe things off and try it again this letter was already pre-painted black um, so I try not to make too many mistakes because matching it is really difficult, but um, you can get white letters and paint them if you want to, but for doing the letters to save time, I just, um, I buy the black, the ones that are already painted black. I added a little bit of water to my paint so it's not too thick and not too thin. Um, it, it's just enough, the consistency is just enough to um, stay on the tip of the uh, tool that I'm using. And it gives nice round circles or round dots. You can see it slowly coming together. All right, for this next part, I just, for the tops, I'm gonna to use just a little bit bigger of the dot. So I'm gonna put a dot directly over the, um, over the one I just did. Try to center it with this. So if you did a line, you would, uh, it would line up right through. So try to do it best you can. And, and then do that with all of them. That's a little a big clump. Wipe that off before I uh, put that on there. There we go. Yeah, make sure you have a rag to wipe the tip of your tool off. I have a rag sitting in my lap, so when I want to switch colors or if I have too much paint I can just wipe it off yeah like that way too much paint there. okay and then with the smaller tip if you load it up you kind of see it's it's not runny but Oh, yeah, see, there's a few clumps in my paint. There we go. So I'm just going to load up the tip. And if you start right next to the big dot and you walk all the way around it, wrap, go all the way around, it gets smaller. 
and this takes time. Don't worry if you make a mistake like I just did. I went over part of the pink, that light color pink. When it dries, I will just um, touch it up by going over that, going back over that light colored pink. I'm just going to go over that. It's easier to just go over a dot to fix it instead of wiping it when you've got a lot of detail on there because if you wipe it, you could actually smudge the rest of your design. So I just let it dry and then I will add that color back on. When you load the tip once and you just keep walking it, uh, you'll see the dots get a little bit smaller. I'm hoping you guys can see these, what I'm doing. have some clumps of paint in there for some reason. I'm not sure why, so I gotta take it out there so I don't pick it up and put it on here. See that? Oh, now I gotta wipe it up quick. I do have a little spray bottle to get it wet. There. Once that dries, it will. You won't even see it. Perfect. All right, and then I'll keep going. I'm going to turn this around because I'm getting closer to the fine details and I don't want to um, put my hand in it. see a uh, little bit of a smudge right here I'm gonna wipe up actually there okay next um, actually I am going to use that lighter color again
Okay. Put it like that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Next, I'm gonna, I just wanna, I like to have a little bit of a shine on the on the cam on the canvas so I'm actually going to use the metallic color which is the berry uh, since paint sits for a little bit it's nice to just stir it just to make sure it's not um, doesn't dry up so I do like to stir it once in a while so I don't get clumps I don't pick up clumps so for this one I'm going to use another size uh, crochet hook and for this I'm using this the small kit so that was the blue one was the really tiny one and I'm actually going to go this size up one more size up and you can see there's a little bit of a tip on it and for this I am going to line that up over the that light light color pink I'm just going to put it right there So if you center it over the light, the one you just did. There. And then. Because these run off these ones right here I won't be able to add one but that's okay see that all right next um, I am going to like I did with this light color the p the pink down below I'm going to add dots around each of these this berry color and for these I like to go darker to lighter so I have my colors kind of lined up like that so these are the colors I'm going to be using and I like to do a larger dot centered over it. So I'm gonna you'll see that. Just take a big tip and you can actually just go over all of them and start it. do that on all of them get that big dot out of the way okay I have a clump of paint in there for some reason I need to get out of there and when this is finished it's it really needs to sit for a few days and dry and then, then I can apply my varnish. And then that takes a couple more days to dry. All right. So with a smaller tip, we're going to walk all the way around. We're going to do it on both sides. Try to do the best you can with the ones that are so close to the edge.
getting a little too close. My hand's hovering, which I'm getting a little wobbly. And I'm going to start r rotating this so I don't get my hand in it. Okay, oops, this one. Next color, uh, another big dot. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger for this one. And some paint. There. All right, and I'm actually going to take this dot off. It's too small. There. Okay, and let's do that.
Ooh, look at that. I smudged it. I did. All right, let me find a better um, tip to wipe that off. Yeah, right there. All right, let that, I really need to start turning these. There. And then one more color. And then another smaller tip. I'm gonna walk the light colored pink all the way around and then this, these are done.
Um, all right, so I am going to call this good. Next, we're going to do white. Um, all right, so this one I want to do I'm going to add a little white design in between the two the pinks. We don't have to do this, but I like detail. All right. And I kind of stayed in the lines with the uh, circles that I that I sketched out. I'm pretty much close to the edge. There. And then I'm going to take a small a small tip and just add a little bit of detail around the white. Kind of space them out best you can. They don't have to be exact, but I like to give it a little bit of a detail. So you can see I will do the other two later I just want to do half of it so you guys can see how I do these all right so for the next part you can see I'll show you my example I did white around it with some black and for that I'm going to do some I find doing larger ones larger 
dots and then some smaller ones look really nice. It just gives it more detail. So I have some white and I'm going to make some bigger, uh, bigger ones just randomly. This is kind of what I do. And then once you have it spaced out to where you like, I mean, you can always add more. I'm going to do one up here. Probably do one down here and I'll do one here there you see the white dots all right for the next part I want to fill it in and typically don't do this but for this purpose I figured I would show you guys um, you can buy these caps. They fit right on these containers. You just, whoops, there we go. Take this off and these go right on. Uh, I already did one. I put it on the white. So I will show you, and let me move this before I drop something else on it. Okay. So you can kind of see, I have a, you have to squeeze it, but if you squeeze it, it gives you little dots. And you can kind of, if you barely, you know, let it come out and do a little bit, or you can squeeze it and put a big one on. And just make sure you pick it up straight up because if you don't you'll leave little tails on your dots and you don't want to do that so for this that is what we're going to do inside of this we're gonna fill that in okay all right it's best to work on I mean usually I do the dots what I what I should say is usually I fill them in with one of these little tools, but it's gonna, it's just gonna take a lot of time. So I figured, why not show you guys this? I do these once in a while for like my larger paintings when I have a lot of little dots to add in. I'll use these little caps. So I will show you. We'll just tap, just kind of hover it over and just. Try not to do a pattern, just do them randomly so it doesn't look like a pattern. Ooh, that was a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then uh, I'm going to keep for the bigger dots that I already did. I spaced out. Uh, I'm going to add like a black dot on top of it. So if you add the big dot first, it will dry. So by the time you're done with these little white ones, it will dry enough that you can actually add your black topper to it. See, I don't use these very off this very often, so it's 
trying to have control over how much paint comes out sometimes can be tricky. But if you practice, some people really like this tool because it's, oh my word, it just saves on how many times you have to reload. What you can do is fill it out the best you can and if you think you're going to make a boo-boo, use your other tool to go over it so you don't um, so you don't make that little boo-boo. Like some of these spots I might want to fill in using my, my other tool just because I don't know if I can get close enough without making a, a mistake, so. But you see how fast that goes? I mean, that goes pretty fast. And I will just tip it, turn it, and just keep adding dots. I'm probably going to fill in the spots that I can't get too close just because um, I don't want to make a mistake. So if I don't, if I have a space that's like right here, I'll show you. There's a couple spots right in here I think should have some paint. I'll just use my little stylus tool so I can fill them out with that instead. See, but it's whatever looks pleasing to the ITO. I just wanted to show you guys this. This package of tips come in a pack of, I believe it's three. I only bought one pack, so. Um, it does work. It does work well when you're tired of just constantly reloading. And if you want bigger dots, just squeeze a little bit more paint out. And my hand is actually getting tired holding this container. So I will add as many on here and then I'm going to finish it with using my stylus because I feel like I have more control and I just, I do not have um, very good strength in my hands anymore. So I'm just going to.
All right, let me.
poo. Hmm. I see a couple of them bled down here. So I'm going to wipe them up. Okay, that is it. And I will finish this other side up. Okay, I did the other two mandalas and I added the white dots. So I'm going to spread the white paint and then 
fill it in. white to this and then I'm gonna fill these in
Okay. And for the, I am going to take pink and add it to these, the ones I had gone around. It's the light, light colored pink. And I can't add it to those because I just did that. So now I'm going to add the black. Let's do that next. And then I'm going to say we are done. So let me do that. To the big ones, the big dots first. Okay, let's do a small one. going to have to probably dry this because the half that I just did all right I'm going to pause this and can okay, dry that so I'm going to add the light pink all the way around finish the dark black color. And that's it. Mm. And that is it. We are done. <sighs> Sorry, this one took so long, <clears throat> but um, I'll try to edit it so it's not so long, but so you guys can see. That is how I do my letters. All right, thank you guys for watching. And again, um, Please subscribe and um, I love feedback. All right. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.